Hello and welcome to this new Construct 3 tutorial where I will show you how to create an alternative to snake. And you can see here the snake going around whenever it eats an apple it becomes larger like that. Just going around and there is the enemies of course following him around and, when he, and whenever he hits an enemy the game just restarts. That's it. So how does it work? Let me see here. This is the main layout of the game. And actually the snake consists out of two object types. The head and one or more snake parts. This one here is the head. And there are also snake parts which is these little uh, things here. So uh, the snake uh, snake head has been given the 8 direction behavior. You can see it here. So it can be moved around. And snake part object type has been given the pin behavior but the way it's being pinned to the end of the snake is a bit special you can see it here the pin behavior uh, due to the nature of picking and construct 3 it's not possible to pin a snake part to another snake part instead an attacher is used and an attacher is an extra object type represented by this excuse me this one here this little uh, tiny pink block it's invisible but it has the pin behavior as well so the idea is this one a snake part is pinned to an attacher and the attacher is pinned to another snake part coming before it of course and an image point called tail um, in order to identify the last snake part to which a snake part needs to be attached as each snake part gets an instance variable called index so the apple is spawned at a random place in the layout and has no special behaviors and the enemy has the bullet behavior and the line of sight behavior. The, be the behavior has been tweaked um, in terms of speed and range, you can see it here, and to bounce out of, of solids. Solids are the walls all around the layout which have been given the solid behavior. Um, and lastly there's the timer object whose only purpose is to keep track of the timer that spawns all the enemies every few seconds. So that's a very basic uh, layout actually, not too much happening here. So let's go look at the code. So this is the initial part here, uh, the initial start of layout and at the start of the game the max index which is a global number here is initialized. Because there's only one snake part visible on the screen the index is zero. So we initialize the max index to zero here and we call spawn apple just to create a new apple when the game starts. And then we start the timer to fire every five seconds to create a new enemy. We'll come back to that in a minute. And then after that the initial snake part of the layout is selected. We do that by picking the snake part with a snake index equals zero, which is actually this one here. You can see it has index zero and by the way if you double click it and you go to the tools, the image point tool, uh, you go and see that there is a snake tail here at the bottom, which we'll use in a minute. So what we do here, uh, pick the snake part by evaluating snake part zero. So we pick that one and then we create a new attacher object. And we set it to the position X and Y, just, just the middle of the snake part. And then we pin the snake part to the attacher. Now uh, pick the last created attacher and we also pick the snake head and then we say use the tail image point of the snake head to attach the attacher to. That's what we're going to do here and we pin the attacher to the snake head. That's it. And we initially call uh, make snake longer to make it one part longer initially. So then um, there's the snake hitting a wall, which restarts the layout, the snake hitting an enemy, which restarts the layout, and also the snake hitting itself, which restarts the layout. So for enemies, there's only one piece of AI here, if you can call it AI, whenever it has a line of sight to the snake part, um, we set the pilot's angle of motion to that angle of the snake part so that way it's chasing the enemy is chasing the snake actually now there's also a spawn apple which actually just randomly creates an apple at layer zero at some random place somewhere 
we have an offset here of 100 each time because it shouldn't spawn too close to the edges actually um, and then, then there's the most important function here make snake longer so the first thing we do is we pick the snake with the maximum index that's actually the last part of the snake and then we set two variables temporary x and y to that snake part x and y and we add one to the index so we create a new snake part and with that last created we create an attacher we set the attacher to that snake parts x and y position and then pin that snake part to the attacher so we don't forget to set the index to be able to reselect it next time the snake will grow of course so we pick the last attacher and we pick the snake part by evaluating index of maximum index minus one which means the last but one snake part and we set the attacher to the snake part position at the image point x and y of the tail point of course and then we pin it using the bar style and that's very important here to use the bar style so it can have that snake behavior where all of the snake parts sort of lag around so that's that's basically it make snake longer and then on collision with an apple we call make snake longer of course and we destroy the apple and we create of course a new apple when the timer fires you can create a new enemy and spawn enemy is very simple just create some random enemy at the center of the layout layout height divided by two and layout width divided by two and then set the bullet behavior um, the angle of motion to some random angle of motion all right so that's it very simple how to create snake in construct 3 i hope you liked it uh, as always please like and subscribe and i will leave a link in the description uh, to uh, the Sarah store where you can get this template see you next time